you have stage fright, you have trouble interacting with other people or in public places, you already have the confidence, you just need to release it. And our next guest will show us how. We welcome professional presentation coach Pam Chambers, and you've helped lots of notable people in Hawaii. What are some of the first things that, that you approach people with when they're trying to become um, easier going in, in public? Well, a couple things. Number okay. one, they have to know and love their subject, okay. whatever it is they're talking about, and they have to believe that what they have to say might actually help someone else. Those two things help a lot. Now, what if people say, I'm just shy? I used to be shy too. So did I. Yeah. Can you believe it? And look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, what is it that um, made you decide to reach out and help people who are shy or who can't seem to to get the right things out? Well, I remember feeling that way myself, just being terrified about having all eyes on me. And then I got a job that required that I be in front of people once a month. And once a month wasn't really enough to get over my fear. So I asked for more opportunities, mastered it. And then people said, can you show me how to do that? And I realized I can teach. How can people be more easier going and confident in front of a crowd? Well, you, you have to speak correctly to yourself. I can do this. I can help people. This will work. And then you need t a toolbox. And that's what I give people in my classes is a toolbox. A lot of times you get that fight or flight. Your, mm -hmm. Adrenaline. Your heart is just pounding. Right. Your breath tightens up. And when your breath tightens up, your voice gets higher. And yeah. you're like, you know, breathing really hard. And right. you're seeing a sea of people out there. That, that's adrenaline. Okay. And there are some tips that I can share with people about how to deal with that so that the adrenaline doesn't manage them. They manage the adrenaline. One thing is to do some kind of isometric exercise ahead of time to release some of that excess energy that you don't need to stand up in front of people. Because your body's really saying, I want to run. Right, or fight. Yeah. Um, so why is, you talk a lot about body language. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what is it that body language tells other people? Well, if I may stand sure. and demonstrate, stand with you. Um, sometimes men, when they're nervous about being mm -hmm. in front of people, they'll do the fig leaf position okay. for protection, okay. and so that will make them look insecure and not very confident. So they really? have to separate their hands, or a lot of times people will do the hands in the pocket right. thing. And jingle the change. Jingle the change. Uh -huh. And women, when they're insecure, might do the clutching okay. little girl thing, because if I'm girlish, maybe you won't hurt me. Okay. So uh, we need to just make our body be confident, and then sometimes we start to feel confident. What about people who put their hands on their hips? It looks a little bossy. Okay. And this is no good either. This okay. looks um, like you're shut down or not available. So hands down. And people who are cold often will cross their fingers like like or cross right. their arms like this. Right. Um, well, still. I, I could stand like this as long as I have an open look on my face. So the, it's the whole body that we're looking at, not just the arms. How important is eye contact? Very. Okay. <laughs> <I'm looking laughs> but we don't want too much of it. If someone okay. gives us too much eye contact, that's intimidating. So okay. the rule is, if I'm speaking to you, your eyes must be on mine. Okay. If I'm listening to you, my eyes must be on yours. We'll have a seat. What about, um, what about crossing legs when we're sitting? What, you well, know, if I cross my leg away from you, okay. that would not be good. So if I'm going to cross my leg, it should be toward you. Okay. Right. Okay. And, I, and men, if you cross your legs, make sure we don't see your skin. Okay. And why is that? <laughs> well, if you're, if you're not wearing socks, we can see your oh, skin. Oh, okay. But we don't want to see That's that. That's a manners thing, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Pam Chambers, thank you so much for being here. There's so much to, to talk about. We hope maybe you'll um, think about coming back. Well, it was my yourself. pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank and uh, KHNL News 8 continues with more news, weather, and traffic. But first, Pam Chambers has a presentation. She's going to help you out. All you have to do is show up. It's January, and I'm trying to read the screen there, Nine. January 9th through February 10th, 6 to 9 p.m. on Merchant Street. For more information, you can call the station just a little bit later, and we'll have the information for folks. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us. You are watching KHNL News 8.